For the second year in a row, South Carolina senators voted to break up the State Department of Health and Environmental Control, also known as DHEC. Last year, the legislation stalled in the House over concerns about the impact on mental health services. As News 19's Becky Buds reports now, the clock is ticking to see if the bill will pass this go around. Many lawmakers have complained that the nearly 4,000 employee agency has become too powerful and at times ineffective. They say splitting it up into two separate agencies is long overdue. The Department of Health and Environmental Control does everything from restaurant inspections to running county health departments and monitoring rivers and streams. But that could soon change under a bill passed last week by the Senate. It would get rid of DHEC and create two separate agencies under the governor's control, the Department of Behavioral and Public Health and the Department of Environmental Services. I think that DHEC is spread thin. They've got not only the state, but also the federal government piling on new responsibilities, and then they're not getting the funding and the staffing to be able to carry out those missions. Megan Didolf with the conservation voters of South Carolina applauded lawmakers for keeping a policy in place that stops work on construction activity when a government issued environmental permit is being challenged. By permitting is a way to prevent environmental harm on the front end, and it's a way that DHEC has the ability to hold businesses accountable for their environmental impacts. Mental health advocates have concerns over the bill. Bill Lindsay is with the South Carolina branch of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. He says he's worried that if the Department of Mental Health is absorbed into the proposed health agency, it will be harder for patients to access care. Uh, I think that it would make it more ambiguous for people to try and find out where to go to get the services if their mental health agency isn't there for them to go. Uh, the contact. Under the proposal, an expert in the Department of Administration would be tasked with recommending how to structure the agency by April 2024. Lindsay would like to see the Department of Alcohol and Other Drug Abuse Services and DMH working together. But so many of uh, people that have uh, a mental illness also have a substance abuse issue. And I think that they need, you know, it would be, uh, it would make it easier to treat them together. State lawmakers have allocated $5 million in the state budget for the transfer. If signed into law, it would take effect July 1st, 2024. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. Well, South Carolina is one of three states that combine environmental regulation and health care under one agency.